Creating amazing backgrounds is so essential for your nail art to have that special pow. But in order to do it, you gotta know the right techniques so that the nail does not look like this giant chunk. We're gonna take you through exactly how to do it right now on Nail School. All right, man, backgrounds for nail art. What do we need to know? You know, it's it, when it comes to nail art, it's really important for you to understand how to apply your backgrounds thin so that you have room to overlay. If you over apply your color or your glitter too thick, you're gonna end up filing into your design. I wanna show you guys how not to do that. I wanna show you how to have success and let me show you exactly how to do that with ease. So we're assuming that this is the natural nail and this is a free edge that I've built flush to the natural nail. So if you guys look at the side, it's completely flat. You can see that it's completely flat. So it's really important before you start that you apply a really thin layer of acrylic over the natural nail so that you do not stain the natural nail with dark colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cover powder and I'm just going to get a really, I'm going to get a really small pearl. I'm going to set it to the cuticle area and then all I'm going to do is just kind of brush it over the surface. I'm going to drag it over the surface without adding any bulk to the natural nail. So if we look at the side again, same thing. All I did was add a really thin layer of acrylic over the top and that this is going to prevent any type of staining from occurring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a few different pastel colors and I'm going to show you how to create um, a really nice background to set you up for floral patterns, snake skin, uh, floral designs, um, any type of impression style work, um, or if you wanted to just do marble. This is a really great way, and it doesn't matter what color you use, it's, it's good technique so that you don't build it too thick. Okay. So before we start, I'm gonna show you on this finger right here mistakes that a lot of people make when they're working. So when they submerge their brush, a lot of times a nail technician will end up picking up like way too much product, right? A pearl like this big. So that when they set it down to the nail, like it consumes almost like literally 25%. And what you end up with is a big blotch, right, on the surface. And as you can see from the side, it's a gigantic lump. Right? And no matter what you do, if I continue to add color, and it's very easy to get carried away. As you continue to add color, you can see that you're going to create a big blob of acrylic on top. You know, and, and again, depending on what design you wanted to do, it might work, but the problem when you have this much acrylic is you don't have any room to overlay the nail. It's going to end up preventing you from adding any type of embellishments uh, or creating a thin enough structure so that you can overlay it with ease. So I'm gonna show you guys on my thumb real fast the size that I want. Literally, when you submerge your brush, I wanna show you guys the size of pearl you're going to get. You're gonna submerge your brush, you're gonna remove a lot of the liquid, and you're literally going to touch it really fast. And you're going to get a really, really small and wet pearl, and then when you set it down to the surface, watch this. I'm gonna set it down and it self-levels quickly. And what I can actually start doing is working around the outside of the pearl, right, so that it blends in. We can start working around the outside of the pearl so that it blends in, but take a look. If you look at the side profile, there is zero thickness to that. And obviously, if you wanted to go larger, you just need a, a slight bit more, but I need it wet. That way, when I set it down and it starts to blend into the other color, notice again how thin the pearl is. There is zero thickness to that 
The reason why this is really important is because when you're laying down color, especially around this area right here, if the acrylic is too thick, you don't have room to apply your clear, and when you do file it, you're gonna end up filing all the color away. You're going to get bare spots and areas that you don't want to get. So the nice thing too about laying down a thin layer of acrylic on the nail is you have this really nice matte textured surface. And when you're applying your acrylic, it almost absorbs into that thin layer of acrylic really well to create uh, the perfect watercolor or blended look. I'm going to start from here and I'm gonna start working around the whole entire surface. I'm gonna get just a dash of yellow. And notice, as soon as I set it down, I work around the edge so that it gives it that type of, of blend. I'm going to come in some of the pastel green and work it around. Take a look at how well the color blends in to the yellow little bit of the pink. And one of the things you can, you'll can you notice as, as I'm working with the wet color, if I decided that I wanted to chase it from the surface, it's going to run into place really, really well. Get a little bit more yellow, set it up, work it wet, dash of purple, a little bit more pink. Right. You can start to see how nice the color blends into each other. All right. As I start working back to the cuticle area, I want to show you guys something. Take a look at the side profile. Look at that. Paper thin. Paper thin. I want to use a little bit more yellow around here. And again, while it's wet, I'm going to continue using some of the other color. I want to get really thin and wet, but again, the nice thing about our colored acrylic is the level of intensity. All right? It's going to cover extremely well. Take a look at how nice this background is, which is going to set me up for any type of effect I wanted to do. If I wanted to lay flowers in between, if I wanted to run line art inside, if I wanted to use glitter. Now here's the thing, if I wanted to add a little bit of glitter to the surface, check this out. So I'm going to use Surprise from the Block Party collection, which is glitter acrylic. It is already pre-mixed with Speed Clear powder. So the same thing. If I wanted to add some dimension to the surface, I don't need a lot of glitter. I'm just gonna kind of follow around the lines to, to create some really nice dimension. Notice as I pick up a really, really, really small dot and I lay it down, I can literally chase around the edges and you can see with really right, wet and light application how I can transform right, that really nice pastel background into a really beautiful like glitter type of complement. And again, take a look at the side profile. Look at how super thin the enhancement is. Now I'm going to use Speed Clear and I'm going to show you how easy it is going to be to overlay this really nice background. I'm going to pick up a really nice pearl and again you're going to notice when I set it to the cuticle area. I don't really have to do that much work. I could set it down, use the tip of my brush and focus on getting it tight to the cuticle and allowing the clear to run all the way through, through the body. I'm just gonna lightly brush it over and you can see the background really shine through the transparency of the acrylic. All right, so this is going to complete the first half of the application. And then what I'm gonna do is take a second pearl and I'm going to set my brush backwards here and you notice how I'm actually able to just 
feather it into the upper arch and then I'm going to use that acrylic and I'm going to allow it to flow all the way down the very tip encasing this wonderful background. We'll let this dry, file the shape, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, one thing I want to show you after the overlay is, look at that, right? The background is so thin that I'm actually able to get a really, really nice upper arch. I don't really have a lot of filing to do, and because the background is so thin, I'm not going to file into my color or my glitter and remove it. I'm going to go ahead and file this into shape, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so we file finished it, put some stain resistant top coat over the surface, and you guys can see, like even around the cuticle areas, all the way through, how tight everything is going to be. This is going to set you guys up so that when you're doing any type of design work, line art on top, your backgrounds are going to be perfect. Just remember, if you're struggling, Work with smaller pearls. Work small, work slow, get the technique down. That way you can create thin background so that when you overlay it with your clear powder, you're never gonna file into your design.